we are on Penang Island up north in Malaysia and today we'll take you on a tour around Georgetown. Georgetown is really the king of street arts and you find it all over the city. And really interesting is, is that the street arts they tell the culture of Penang. So you can learn a lot from them. We have to find street art, not a window. This is ours. This is like real art. Okay, Mira, you wanted to tell me something? Yeah, I saw something so cool. You really, we have to go there. Someone thought, oh, let's uh, grow a little plant on my balcony. And then suddenly, a whole jungle came on his balcony. So the whole place is taken over by plants. And you even heard jungle sounds here. So this is a tree. And there's a human carved out of the tree. Have you seen that show, Mira, where... Yeah, this one. The street arts here are awesome. No wonder Georgetown is listed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. So all these metal ones, they also have these facts. So here it says a cannon shot fired during 1967 in Penang riots made a large hole in this area. And that is why one of the road is called Cannon Road. That, oh, Cannon Street actually. So where we are standing is a pretty rare place in the world. Yeah, even like short. Okay. It's super, super warm in this city, like super humid. You already walked, I think, two, three kilometers. Yeah, so you get sweaty. <laughs> so if you want to just have some wind and a little bit of rest, then this is the way to explore Georgetown. These drivers, they know the best places to take the tourist to get the best views of the street art because we have been hunting by ourselves for really long and it has been a tough job. So this is our first stop. And look what we found, a fake bicycle. But later, we're probably also going on a real bicycle. Yeah. And there's some kids behind you, Mira, oh. waving at you, oh, telling cool. you to stop. <laughs> Looks so real, eh? Yeah. You're driving totally the wrong way. Grandma giving her grandson a nice bowl of noodles, I think. He's taking us to some more cool places. Whoa! Look at this. Ah, that's a nice photo idea. After some photos, we have a surprise. Look where I am. Like without a guide, you would never notice that you just go inside a fire truck. When we started this day, I never imagined that I would end up in a fire truck. <laughs> how cool See is how that? how big it is. We can make this as our fan. Yeah. Oh, fan life. It's actually still in use. Oh no. I don't know, I think so. Uh, yeah, maybe. I see some drinks yeah. here. Maybe let's go out before yeah. we get into trouble. <laughs> we just ended up in another beautiful street. Like every corner of Georgetown is just keeps surprising us. So if you want to have a really Instagrammable photo in the street, you can actually order an ice ball and that ice ball comes in all rainbow colors. But we're not going to do it. We are going to a better place for some desserts. And I see something really crazy behind you, Mira. Oh, yeah, there's also some dinosaur thing going on. So when we were exploring this area, we saw a lot of these hipster cafes, really good looking, you know, and we choose one. This one, Ludwig. Yeah, Ludwig. And we ordered some uh, Ludwig. <laughs> These would say Ludwig in Netherlands. Uh, and we ordered some uh, cold chocolates. And we also have some Nutella cheesecake. Mm. We are here at the Clan Jetties of Penang. So the Clan Jetties are home to a number of Chinese settlements and they are here since the 19th century. And they are, you don't see it now, but we are really close to the water. And they choose this place back in time, hoping they can find sea related work. And there are actually still eight Chinese clans living here. And we're going to show you around how they live because they live really interesting. Hopefully they don't get offended with all the tourists with their cameras and uh, <laughs> phones filming their houses. So right now we are actually walking on the water. You can also ride your bicycle, you can also ride your motorbike. So in the beginning we had a lot of tourist shops, but now I think these are the real houses or they look like real houses. It must be because there are still a lot of people living here. Maybe you can get a tour inside. It is pretty uh, like a deep house. It goes really on and on. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, like really? maybe 20 meters long. So here you really see it's built on water, this whole 
area but it's so packed that you don't really see that you're on top Literally, of the water yeah. and how crazy there's a motorbike also riding yeah, here it's a challenge and the opening hours and the and opening hours are from 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. So don't come too early to avoid the crowds because you can just not enter. No. Mango ice cream. Oh, really good. It's just too frozen. You just put it one second in the sun, maybe. Oh, it's really nice. We have reached to the end of the clan. This clan. Just this clan. There's like five or six of them. And now you have all the waters. And I think maybe it's uh, their private boat here. And we see a crazy long bridge in the back. Am I blocking it? Yeah. Like the sun is so bright. It's crazy. But because we don't see a lot at the moment. But the bridge what we saw, yeah. you're not going to believe it. It's 24 kilometers long. And it, it's one of the longest bridges. In Southeast Asia? Yes. Really? 24 kilometers. I'm thinking, like, where else can be a long bridge? But Must imagine 24 kilometers. Like... Yeah, that's long, but I think yeah. we're also going to cross it in a few days. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh. So just when we came out of the Jetty's clan, we found something really interesting. We found bicycles, and it's warm, so we thought maybe on a bicycle you have a bit more wind, and we have to go to some other place, but it's a bit further away. So let's figure out how this works. Please take the bike. Oh. oh! Please take the bike. Oh. Please take the bike. It's Thank 40 you. degrees, people. You don't see it on the video, but... You see in my back. Yeah, it's so warm. Yeah, I think these bicycles are so much better than walking. At least you get some wind. And the traffic is not that crazy, so that's good. Mira, look forward, there's someone coming. <laughs> I think just park here, baby. It is burning outside. Mira didn't even lock her bike, she just ran in a shade. <laughs> but we are at this famous blue mansion. We are at the entrance of the blue mansion, but turns out there's a tour, guided tour, and it's compulsory for everybody, so you cannot just uh, buy the ticket and go by yourself. The tour starts at specific times, so now we have to wait almost 45 minutes for the tour to start. I found something really interesting about this mansion. Oh yeah? You know the movie Crazy Rich Asians? Yeah. One of the scenes, the hotels, that is filmed in China, oh, is really? not filmed in China, it was this mansion. And the owner of this mansion is actually a Chinese, and I think he built it here for his family, so probably it was really like a crazy rich Asian. We really wanted to go on a tour, but we don't really want to wait 45 minutes in this burning sun. For 12,000 US dollars, you can hire the whole mansion, and I think there are like, how many rooms? 18 or something? Oh, 18 really? rooms, so if you have 18 friends, it's not that expensive. 18 if you have like more than 18 you're not oh, gonna yeah, put all the like 36 in. yeah just yeah. collect all your friends and it's like a whole they welcome you with all kind of welcome gifts you could have and done it's like a whole package here, Mira. true it was a hot day but we found a great spot to relax and see the evening lights in Penang. all right tea is right yeah we have entered the 65th floor and this is not open i think you have to go with the lift or a stair to the top but the views from here is spectacular. One of the coolest things what you can do here in this tower is to walk outside the tower. You hear these steps next to me? You can walk on these steps. How crazy is that? But I don't see any people doing it and I also don't see people selling it. Uh, we will search for some, uh, for some people working here and see if it's possible because I think I want to try it if it's possible. It's closed. We cannot walk outside today, but there is something else a bit scary. Ooh, that was a bit scary. <laughs> oh, it's really high. It looks like there's a green screen on your feet. Oh, yeah? Yeah. It's just one glass between us and a 65 floor drop. Okay, I don't want to think oh, about uh, it. Oh, yeah, don't think about <laughs> it. Crazy. I was just thinking, how long would it take to fall down? <laughs> Look at that. Ooh. The signs look like it's one big children paradise, so <laughs> let's see. We are at the top and we're looking for the skywalk. 
<laughs> it's really, it looks really, really cool. Maybe we first have to do the wishing pot of gold to see if it goes good if we go on a skywalk, Adi. <laughs> Let's see. I have a golden coin. Oh, so many people miss. <laughs> <laughs> almost, almost. Let's see my luck. Oh, no, I made a crack in the window, I think. <laughs> I, I want to hit it now. No. Second try. Wait, I zoom in. Oh. Yes! Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Should I go one more? Yeah. Wait, I zoom in. You can see the proof. No. Ding. Here, are you nervous? This one is way more scary than the other one. Yeah. Here you really walk, like there's nothing under you. <laughs> this is really scary. Look at that. It's so cool and we're so lucky that there are not many people today. It's, it's, it's unbelievable. It's so and quiet. It's the first time, it's like one of the most touristy places in Penang. And you, you barely have any people. Yeah. So we have this whole thing for ourselves and with some other people. But yeah, it's must to think. Oh yeah. I think it's yeah. It's really cool. And from here you really see how big this area is and you have a little bit of an overview of the of the city. Here I goes to meditate here with the view of the beautiful city. How's the meditation going on? Oh you're doing slow mo no? No. Oh. <laughs> it's a vlog. <laughs> meditation. <laughs> I'm overcoming my uh, fear of heights. I can feel it. And it's not just a skywalk, there's also just nice and chill area to just chill out. And there's a buffet, but I think you have to pay extra for that. And Mira is trying to sneak in. And it looks really good, but I, yeah, we don't have it. The good part about coming in the evening was that we had a great time upstairs and it started to thunder. Oh, crazy. It was crazy. I think we have it on video. Yeah. So if you have seen it before, we got it. <laughs> yeah, but it can also be scary, me. Yeah? It was, yeah, it was at one point, it was straight on top of us. And I was like, oh, why they're not evacuating us or so. Uh, but they also had a lot of those things. Yeah. It sort of absorbs the thunder. It was just two meters above my head. I don't know if <laughs> that's a good thing. Hope you liked our adventure in Georgetown. See you next time.